Mustang we're building here. Today we're just going to do a quick review of something that uh, I've been wanting to pick up, but before you jump all over me about, you know, something made in China or whatever, okay, these are stubby wrenches and they come in bigger sizes and I needed them for just doing a particular part on a piece of machinery I got. There are some places they also call them tractor wrenches, okay? And um, they come in bigger sizes, but they're short and stubby. My only other option that when I was working on this machine is to take one of my extra wrenches and put it in a chop saw and cut it down to where I could work on it, okay? So let's look at what these wrenches are really and I'll just give you this is gonna be a quick thing okay in case you've seen it somewhere and you thought about buying them I'll just let you know about the quality and I'm just gonna shoot straight I'm not gonna you know sugarcoat anything so hold on a minute let me switch the camera around All right, so like I said these are the Pittsburgh they call uh, service wrench set okay and it comes from three quarter all the way up to an inch and five eighths this is the SAE set to have a metric set too. And I like the case on the outside. I don't like the case on the inside. I'll show you why. You open it up, it doesn't hold the wrenches tight. They're in here and they're held by these, these bands that you pop out and then you can access the wrenches and you put it back in to hold them there. But the wrenches move around a little. I wish it was something, look at here, see? I wish it was something to where they locked in better, you know, hey, it is what it is, okay? But this is what I needed to set for, okay? This is not a snap-on mat or whatever. This is a Harbor Freight Pittsburgh, okay? So for the average person that's working on something, it'll do, okay? I needed a one inch. There's my one inch. This is what I'm working with. I was going to have to chop saw my one inch wrench. My, this is my cheaper ones, okay? But I bought this set. Now you can see here's the length. It's half the length of it, okay? Which is going to allow me to access in this machine a cable. And the cable I'm accessing is this cable is also used on bulldozers and used on um, old skid steers, things like that, okay? These cables here, it engages, it pulls by a lever. Okay, the lever comes across here, follows up, goes and engages my hydraulic pump, okay? Some of these levers are also used to engage straight to a clutch, like in a car, all right? So they have an adjustment on the rods. On the end, they use a one inch nut, and I don't have enough turning radius for a long wrench to get at it. I only got little turns, hard to see, but, so that's why I have the stubbies, okay? It's gonna work for me today. They're they're thick. I mean, they're comparable, same thickness. Probably as a craftsman, you know. They're, you know, hey, it says alloy steel, Pittsburgh on it, one inch. So, but I like it because uh, it'll help me out a lot of stuff too because they come all the way up to inch and five eighths, and I know there's a spot on here I need too that has a big. I didn't have a wrench in my sets that was big enough for down there that goes on a hydraulic tank. So I know I got something for it now, you know. So uh, use your coupon on your phone when you go in there to 20% off. And uh, it comes down to, it'll say here, took $4 off, yada, yada, yada. And I bought another item with it, whatever. So it took it down to $43.99. Okay. So for 43 bucks, I got a set of these. Not terribly, you know, I mean, what, what do you expect for 40 something bucks? Okay. These ain't snap ons. Who could you imagine if it was snap on or Mac? But if I was making my living with it, yeah, I would. I would go with a, a higher end deal. But I would probably have to start off with this, like everybody. You got to start somewhere, right? Anyway, like I say, I don't like the case. But that's okay, because I'm not going to be opening this case a whole lot, using them a whole lot. Okay, I may land up hanging them, you know, putting a big pegboard on my wall and hanging them on there. You know, so it is what it is. Uh, hang around, because you know at the end of every video I make, I 
give you a question. It's a car question or a movie type question for one of my stickers that says, if you're not learning something new every day, you must be dead. Remember, it's the first two people that answer the question properly or correctly that win the sticker. And it's open to anyone in the world. I don't care if you're in Australia, Timbuktu, wherever, you know. And I love our guys in Australia. And, and hell, I got met wonderful people online from Canada, too. Everywhere, basically. Anyway, God bless you. Hang around. For, and I'll put that question on there. Have a great day, guys. Okay, we're back in the house. We're cleaned up. It's time to ask the question. Remember, it's a movie question. Dealing with cars. Uh, if you're a young guy watching this, hopefully these links, even if you don't win the, the contest for the sticker each time, hopefully each time I'm introducing you to some classics of uh, some good old car movies. Some of them are pretty goofy. Some of them are pretty damn good. Um... The movie we're talking about today is Gumball Rally, the original Gumball Rally, which came out in 1976. I think I was about 15 years old. You know, some of the cars on here are cars that I've actually worked on when I used to work on cars. Okay, I mean, not the ones in the movies, but I'm saying the models in the years and stuff. There's a Corvette in there, there's Camaros in there. It's a one car I have never worked on, but it is on my bucket list of cars. It's an AC Cobra. Okay, anyway, here's the sticker, what it looks like. Okay, it says, remember, if you're not learning something new every day, you must be dead. And, uh, okay, once again, the movie, 1976, Gumball Rally. What is the first rule of Italian driving? There's a whole little sentence about it afterwards. Okay, I'm going to post a link to the movie which has got, you know, some of the car action stuff in it. But you got to look around for what it, the answer is. And you can find it pretty damn easy. All right, so once again, the first rule of Italian driving. And um, first two people to answer it, win the sticker. Last time, I think I had four people answering it. You know, I, I, I told people I'd still answer to it, I mean, or send them a sticker. But I got to cut it down to two, the first two. I got to stick to the rules. Otherwise, I'm breaking the rules. But uh, you gotta be. You have to like, subscribe, be a subscriber. Excuse me to the YouTube channel, and uh, you know what? Make a comment, which the comment would be the answer to the question. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna tell you straight up. I really appreciate you guys. Everybody that watches these, I appreciate all the comments you put up every day. I look and uh, I wake up to comments. Sometimes in the evening, I get off of work and I'll take a shower, look, bam, there's a comment. So it, it's nice. I interact with people. It, it, it's really nice, especially during the corona thing going on. You know, you have to limit yourself, space yourself away from people and stuff. And so this is a nice interaction for me and for you and um, the sticker. And you know what? If you win one, if you don't use it in your toolbox, uh, it's kind of a good saying for kids, okay? A lot of kids are like, why do I need to know know that, or you know, why do I need to know this mathematical, or well, how to do this or do that? I wish teachers would put more emphasis on like, uh, why do you need to know geometry? You don't need to know all of the geometry, but just some of your basics, like figuring up the area or calculating diameter or circumference, because you know, I don't. I use it too. You know, I use it pouring concrete, figuring out. If you're in construction, you figure that out. But a lot of kids now are, are not going in the trades. It's a shame, you know. we got people from outside the U.S. coming in here to do our trades. When, you know, when you're a tradesman and you're a master at it, it's, you're treated with a lot of respects. Um, I don't want to get off subject or whatever, but... Sometime I'll tell you about the Masons. I'm not a Mason, but I'll tell you the little theory behind being a Mason. Um, the one thing is he could travel all across Europe. Okay, He wasn't discriminated because he's from this country, that country, or whatever. They had their own little signs and secret handshakes and stuff to prove that you're a Mason. And when you were able to prove that stuff, that means Masons were extremely valuable. How do you think those castles were built? or those fortresses, the walls, or whatever. Somebody just stacking rock? It took somebody to figure it out. 
some of those big old arches you got in Europe and the big cathedrals and stuff, you were looking for a master, right? Somebody to know how to do it. And you were very, you paid well. And um, a lot of clout went along with it. Anyway, that was a short little tidbit or whatever on a little history and about working with your hands, okay? Which is still valuable. Remember, every man should know how to do two things. Even if you're white collar working in an office, you should know two skills in your life, two skill sets. Economy changes, you can go back to working with your hands, okay? Get something to fall back on, all right? Many people lose their job like Corona, a lot of things going away. Somebody may have been doing something in an office, whatever, now to decide, well, we can outsource that or we can, you know, do that from home, stuff like that. So you're kind of out of work. But if you still had your trade, you still be bringing home bacon to the family. Anyway, God bless you. Look forward to the answers. See you on the next one. And um, what do I got? I stay out, uh, what, a year and three months to be with you as far as the stump grinding part. Okay? God bless you, man. Thank you.